Hi, Chris. Today I wanted to talk about Tumblr. I know you know all about Tumblr already, but other people might not be entirely sold on the concept yet, so I'm going to talk about why it's great. If you want to see my Tumblr or Chris's Tumblr, the links are in the doobly doo. So Tumblr's like a blog thing. It's different than that, though. It's a little bit Pinterest, a little bit Blogger, a little bit none of those. So I have a dashboard, and on that dashboard I see the blogs that I follow, and each post is sort of interspersed with the posts of all the other blogs. And because I get to choose who I follow, I get to tailor my dashboard to my specific interests. So I only see things from blogs that share the things that I like. But because people are interested in all kinds of things, I get to be exposed to all sorts of different subsets of Tumblr. There are people interested in supernatural, or antiquing, or crafts, or naked pictures of... Benedict Cumberbatch. There, there's all sorts of stuff. Lot, lots of that last one. So even though I'm mostly interested in, you know, feminism, social justice, anti-racist stuff, and pictures of cats, I get all the best from all those subsets of Tumblr, too. And even more. Unfortunately, some of the stuff I get exposed to is, like, you know, men's rights-y or you know, white supremacists' blogs, but mostly it's not that, and I'm only exposed to that when the feminists and anti-racist folks I follow post it on their blogs with, you know, analysis and contextualization so that I can, you know, understand how people think badly. And if I wanted to, there are utilities and other things that I can do to keep that stuff off my dash. So recently, we got our first internet troll on the five facts about affirmative action video, it would be that video, because Affirmative Action pushed a lot of racist buttons. Um, so I'm pleased, really, that they're there. And it could have gotten ugly. It didn't. But it could have gotten ugly if I had engaged with the person at all. But the point is that, um, that on Tumblr, there are ways that I could keep that sort of person from ever interacting with me again. Whereas on YouTube, well, everybody knows about YouTube comments. So there's my pitch for Tumblr. It's like the internet tailored to your interests with, you know, more text. Sort of like Reddit, except with fewer fedoras and more feminists. Krista, I will see you tomorrow.